there will be times where you might want to set the system up to instruct an engineer to step in or, or maybe even review every order. Some shops start out by doing that and as time goes on, they automate more. Technical Corner today, we're joined by Oscar from Digifabster. I've seen the overview video that we did recently for, mm -hmm. for you guys. Great software, basic making, quoting, flexible, consistent, and winning me a lot more business. So I'm gonna yeah. go ahead with this software. How easy is it for me to implement? Sure, so we've seen people go live with Digifabster in anything from a day to a week. It really depends how much customization and personalization you want to do, how many machines and materials you have to set up, and whether or not you're using Digifabster for e-commerce online quoting as well. Okay, so first thing, I can go two routes, I can have quoting, so someone sends in, send the information, the CAD file? CAD file, yeah. I, I do a quote, I just run through it, and it goes straight out, or it can go straight out anyway, but that's sort of internal, or I can have my own shop on my own website for my CNC machine shop. Sure, so if you just want to save time quoting internally, absolutely, use Digifabster as an internal tool. If you're ready to take that leap and compete in the online marketplace that's booming at the moment, then yeah, allow your customers to get estimates, quotes, and even order online via your website if you'd like. Okay, sold to me, absolutely. How easy and what sort of information am I putting into this system to get it up and running so I can get my quotes out super quick? Sure, so for each material, we typically uh, ask that you upload 10 files into your system. Uh, and these CAD files, just to reiterate. Yeah, except a range of CAD files, all the ones you'd expect, uh, step files in this example. Pop in a price there for one unit and for 10 units uh, across those 10 files, perhaps the, the previously quoted 10 from yesterday. Uh, and the system then using its machine learning algorithms will analyze correlations between the prices you popped in and the geometries of the part. So ultimately we produce a, a graph there of the, uh, the automated pricing versus your manual pricing. Will it highlight inconsistencies? Interesting you point that out. Yeah, absolutely. When people go through the implementation process, they often come across the fact that whoever's been doing the quoting previously hasn't necessarily been applying as much consistency or accuracy as, as the system can do. So yeah, that, that, that is a great step forward for a lot of people to know that all quotes going forward will be consistent and accurate and geometry based. Uh, and what the system will then do is, is kind of break down line by line how the price is produced and allow you to tweak the, the, the algorithm such that it's quoting how you'd like to going forward. Okay, so going back to Ian and his quote, he might have been having a good day, you might have a mate down the road who's, doing, who's getting cheap pricing, or someone doesn't like super high pricing. Absolutely. You wanna get it consistent and win that business essentially. Yeah, I've spoken to a lot of machine shops now, and Ian will be the first one to tell you, often the, the price that he gives is dependent on whether he's having a good day or a bad day. And in all seriousness, you know, we can't really be applying subjective methods to, to, to pricing you know, in this day and age. Everything has to be consistent accurate, objective, and data-based. Okay, just to reiterate, Ian from ABC Engineering, there are other, there are other, other quotes, quoters and engineering companies Absolutely. out there. Okay, so it's nice and easy to implement, nice and easy, easy I guess, say manipulate or change the criteria. Sure, yes, yeah, so uh, in terms of maintaining the, the pricing strategy, we make that nice and easy with the price tweaking tool here. Again, that will break down the algorithm and show you uh, exactly how the price is, 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 is produced. Uh, and when it comes to manual overrides and manual reviews, again, we don't encourage automate 100% of everything. There will be times where you might want to set the system up to instruct an engineer to step in or, or maybe even review every order. Some shops start out by doing that and as time goes on, they automate more and more. Yeah, it's a new, it might be a new product to them. They want to check every single one for the mm. first couple of weeks, couple of months, make sure it is, is coming out to their satisfaction, which ultimately it does. Then they can build, build those sort of thresholds higher and higher. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So automate as much or as little as, a little, as, little as you'd like um, and set reviews where you need it. Okay, right, I've got it all set up in the background, but I want to look at my other thing. Is it is lots of input when the actual quote comes through to me and it's ready to go out, or is it just a few bits of data? When it comes to producing the quote, whether it's you internally or your customer using the tool online, it's just a case of putting the CAD file in, selecting things like technology, material, tolerance, and any, any treatments you'd like post-production and things. So only a few criteria though, nice and simple. Four and five drop downs, much quicker than quoting spreadsheets and all that sort of thing. Um, and then select how many you'd like in the batch. We do try and sort of incentivize batch orders. Uh, it's always great for a shop to get bigger music than once. To it, music to every engineer's ears is batch work, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. So we make that nice and easy. No more back and forth emails trying to confirm how many 10 and 100 will cost. That's all there on the screen for you, automatically calculated allowing you to just crack on with the day. And also one final thing I suppose is that in terms of the actual quote going out, you could bespoke it for each individual engineering company. Absolutely, apply client discounts, manual overrides, all sorts of things. 
Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that you can do to tweak and change it, but it's all very, very simple to use. It's about getting 80% of the way there and covering 80% of the work and allowing you know, engineers to focus on that high value 20%. Okay, so nice and simple. So there you have it, flexible, accurate, easy to use. I really want to go ahead with this, so what do I do? How do I get in contact with you guys? Sure, well I'd say uh, head to the website, digifabster.com. My details are on there. Absolutely get in touch or feel free to start a free trial and uh, come back to me after that. There you go, nice and simple, making your quoting, well winning you a lot more business, quoting made really, really simple. Oscar and the team, Digifabster.